Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got some mail. Hey Santee, can you do one on telephones in the Old West? Phantom Observer. Hmm, that's a good call. I'll have to get dialed in for this subject. The invention of the telegraph was an exciting part of history. Instead of letters, now people could send messages over a wire to a destination. This was also much quicker and more reliable than the mail. Well, as long as outlaws, buffalo, or Native Americans weren't wrecking those wires. This industrial age was silly with technological leaps. On March 10, 1876, the public witnessed Alexander Graham Bell say the first words over a telephone line. Hello? Who is this speaking? I don't know, okay? See ya. No, that, that wasn't it. It was... Mr. Watson! I'm here. I want to. His assistant was Thomas Watson, who kept developing this new technology after that significant occasion. Well, yes, I would expect that of you, Watson. Incidentally, this all went down less than a week after Bell received a patent for his revolutionary system of communicating with vibrations electrically between two locations. That was a rather long sentence. I apologize. Never apologize, mister. It's a sign of weakness. Okay, so our buddy Alexander succeeds, and now he needs someone to make a bunch of telephones so people all over the continent can talk to each other. He hires Charles Williams to make devices, and shortly thereafter, we have wall-mounted phones being produced and shipped all over the world. Interestingly, this new industry was so popular they couldn't keep up with the demand. A few companies started making phones, including the Western Electric Manufacturing Company, which Bell had a controlling interest in. The handset ones, often referred to as candlestick phones, became popular in Europe and eventually America at the turn of the century. Kellogg Switchboard and Supply Company made this one in 1907. We're going to try it out here pretty soon. Now, if you want to read a litany of patent races and court battles, look up early telephone history on that googly thing. Oh, if that interests you. It doesn't interest me, so it ain't going in here. I don't care. I don't care. Our old Westians experienced this amazing technology. To them, it helped deal with emergencies, get weather reports, conduct business, and of course, talk with friends and family. Operator speaking, how may I direct your call? Hello, operator. Would you please connect me to Ponderosa 65000? One moment, please. Hello, Jersey Red speaking. Hey, Red, it's Santee. Well, hey, Santee. What's up? I'm trying to track down a 19th century fireman's helmet. Do you guys have any down at the station? Oh, you mean those old metal ones? Actually, the originals constructed in 1830 were made of leather. Thick treated leather was not only flame resistant, but was also structurally sound in environments of high heat. What? 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 Santee, was that you? No, I thought it was you. Wait a minute. Is this that operator that connected us? Please deposit five cents for the next five minutes. <laughs> There's no coin slot. These are private phones. Yeah, operator, what do you think we are, stupid? What are you, some kind of light-fingered cut purse trying to boost us for money? <laughs> Sir, we'll get our money from you however we want. We're not cut purses. We're the phone company. Incidentally, a cut purse is someone who tries to steal your money. Hello? Pretty sure they can figure that out, you fractious gutter snipe. Tombstone's first phone line started in 1882, after the whole OK Corral event. The phone system was limited to the bigger cities early on, 
Ranchers and farmers in remote areas eventually got together and started using their existing barbed wire fences as phone lines to connect services. In 1885, American Bell Telephone Company incorporated the American Telephone and Telegraph Company, which is still around. Yeah, some of you may have AT&T as your cell provider. Bell continued to experiment with technology, including using light rays to carry sound. But can you imagine Alexander's face if he could see where his technology has gone today? Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Hello? And we'll see you on down the trail. <sighs> Sir, not until you've paid your phone bill. Because we're the phone company. I have more respect for you than I ever thought possible as of right now.